Hey, what's up guys? Your boys, Pilot2K7, and I'm back with another Grand Auto 5 Real Life Mod video. Today we're going to do something extremely crazy, a little bit unrealistic, but it should be a ton of fun, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. So, if you guys watched Saturday episode, you already know we have a brand new uh, garage up in Sandy Shores for our tow truck company. So, we're going to actually go ahead and transport some of these trucks from this uh, location to our new location. Now, obviously this location we make a lot of money here so we're not gonna you know get rid of it i'm gonna keep this location we're just expanding out into blaine county so these two trucks behind me the peterbilts these are gonna stay so we have the 337 flatbed we also have the 389 uh, heavy duty record so both of these trucks are gonna stay down here and work uh, we're also going to leave the CXT, the Durastar, and the F550 flatbeds. These are all going to stay in the city as well. Uh, these two F550s are also going to stay. And these two are actually going to come with me. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading up. So let's go ahead and hop in the brand new one first. So this is going to be the 2020 Ford tow truck by McGregor Mods. And I will link it down below in the video description if you want to check it out. And actually, I'll link all of the mods um, in the video description. So anything you guys are looking for, just check the video description. So this 2013 um, Ford tow truck, we're going to take that with us as well. So I'm going to try to hook up to it kind of tight in here. But let's see if we could grab it. We do have the, uh, uh, what is it called, the auto loader on this one, which is pretty cool. So we go ahead and put that right under. And it looks like we got it. Let's lift up. And we are good. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this out. Now, obviously, you know, transporting all these trucks, I could use my workers and, you know, make them run the trucks up. But I figured this would be more fun. And you guys kind of wanted me to do a video a video of me, like, towing my own tow truck. So I figured we'll do it like this. Alright guys, take a look at what you guys are about to see. This is about to be crazy. Alright, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So, we have the Peterbilt. We actually have two Peterbilts now, so that's the new thing. We, have, we now have three heavy duty wreckers, and I'm going to be getting a fourth one very soon as well. So, this 330, uh, or this 389 is going to come with us. It's currently hauling a semi truck calling a semi uh, trailer with a Kenworth and an F550 on and I'm gonna try to put this F350 uh, on the back and we're gonna try to tow everything so it's gonna be crazy guys but we're gonna try to get everything there in one shot so like I said I know this is unrealistic but I think it will still be cool and still be fun so hopefully you guys do enjoy and if you do Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, guys. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We upload new videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe. Turn notifications on so you will not miss an episode, guys. We're dropping straight bangers for the whole forever, man. Forever. <laughs> but let me go ahead and load this one up. I'm just kind of excited. It's a Monday, but I'm excited. We're doing some crazy stuff today. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna load this up right here. Then we may have to pull that Kenware forward a little bit. All right, I think we're good. We'll attach this and we should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and get that attached. All right, guys, so we have it attached. Uh, yeah, this is about to be crazy. So, uh, yeah, DLT is gonna be pissed at us when they see us, but hopefully they don't see us. So we have this pulling that that's attached to the trailer uh, this, this flatbed is also attached to the trailer that tow trucks attached to the flatbed uh, this is attached to the Peterbilt and to make this even crazier guys you guys think that's it no we're gonna add another one another one guys so I'm gonna go grab the Kenworth 
and we're gonna use a Kenworth to try to pull all of this let me know in the comment section do you guys think this is gonna work do you think we're gonna make it all the way to sandy shores I don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys think like I said I know this is unrealistic but I figured it'll be a fun way to do a video and it'll be a fun way to get you know all of our trucks to sandy shores so Go ahead and hop into the Kenworth. Shoutouts to Bagged on this amazing heavy duty wrecker here for both of them. He made the Peterbilt and the Kenworth. The, the Peterbilt one is not released, that's a custom one. But the um, Kenworth one, this one right here, is released. So if you guys would like to check it out, again, I will link it in the video description. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. Alright guys, this is about to be crazy. So let's see, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six vehicles we're going to be towing right now. Now I actually did see a video of um, a one tow truck just like this towing like I think 10 or 15 other tow trucks and flatbeds and it was crazy. So I know it technically is possible in real life, but they were doing it for a parade. So. Um, maybe I'll put like a picture on screen or I'll link the video so you guys can see. So I know it's technically possible, but obviously they were doing it in a controlled environment. They were doing it for a parade and not doing it on city streets. So I know it's going to be a little bit crazy and unrealistic, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't even know if we're going to make it. What the heck? Why everybody just started screaming? That was kind of scary. Alright, so like I said, I don't even know if we're going to make it or not. Well, uh, I guess we'll find out. So let's attach to the Peterbilt. Alright, we're attached. Alright, I think I'm going to have to lower it a bit. Okay, we're moving. Alright guys, here we go. I don't even know if I'm going to cut this first turn. I don't know why the Peterbilt keeps turning back on. I turned it off twice, but it keeps restarting. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy, guys. Okay, we got it. We got out. All right, cool. So let me um, put our GPS. This is going to be a crazy route that we're driving. So we're going to be heading right here. Oh, I just want to get on the highway. It's going to be hard driving through the streets like this. Dang, it's sliding on the back there, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. Oh, uh, no, we're not. Oh, we just took down a fence. Dang, we're not going to be able to make it there, guys. I don't think we could do it. I have traffic turned off right now because they're kind of getting in the way. Ah, it's drifting to the side. Come on, just go straight. Just stay straight. Maybe if I put it down a little bit. Alright, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I don't know. I'm going to try to speed up a bit. Okay, we, we may make it. I just gotta be careful on the turns. That's really the hard part because that's when it starts like sliding and stuff. I think once we get to the highway, I think we'll be okay.
Okay, I'm gonna try to turn traffic back on once I make this first left turn. I meant to turn on these lights too. There we go. Oh no, it's sliding, it's sliding, it's sliding. Okay, we're good. It's probably gonna slide here. I just hope it doesn't hit the curb. Up, it's sliding again. Okay, it's gonna straighten out. All right, so let's go ahead and turn traffic on now, guys. All right, traffic is now on. Now let's see what we can do this. This right turn I'm about to make is about to be extremely difficult. Oh man, this is crazy. I think we made it. Oh! It's drifting. Don't. Don't. Oh. It's gonna fall off. It's gonna fall. Alright, we're gonna have to come back and replace that sign. I cannot believe we did it. Okay. I'll turn traffic on again. This whole video is just going to be me turning traffic on and off all day. I wish I could just get on the highway from like right here. We're really good on the straightaways though. Oh no. Ooh, that was close. All right, I think we just gotta make two more turns and then we're on the highway, guys. Just two more turns and we'll, we'll be okay. So I kinda gotta hang for how it drifts now. So, like, it seems like it's better to not cut too wide because when you go wide it kind of starts drifting so it seems like it's better to actually take it close and let it drift around the turn there we go perfect all right so we're gonna be on the highway now well not now now but like in about 20 seconds we'll be on the highway we can bump up the speed a bit. And we should be in Sandy Shores in no time. Three miles to go. Uh, 
Okay, we are now on the highway. Sorry about those hooks, they, it just happens when you attach them to stuff, when you attach the tow truck to something. Yeah, this is insane though. Yeah, if we ever try this in real life, we would be in so much trouble. <laughs> traffic is hitting us. Come on, traffic. Don't hit me. How fast are we going? I feel like we're going so slow right now. Damn, we're only going 24 miles per hour. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm driving so slow, guys, but this is a heavy load, so this is about as fast as we could go. Oh, we touched 35 on the downhill there. We're probably going to lose it here, though. Oh, okay, we got some speed, guys. We just hit an extra gear. We're up to 40. I didn't think we could get this fast. Perfect. I could do 40 miles per hour. I'll hold that. I'll take that. Coming up on the halfway mark, so we are almost there, guys. Almost there. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, and I hope you guys enjoy this new shot. Let me know what you guys think about it once we get there. Do you like it better than the old one? Is it about the same? Now, I'm going to warn you, the location kind of sucks, but the thing is, when pe I didn't make this um, garage. Obviously, I downloaded it, so shout out to the person who made it, but... um. There's not many places in the game where you could like kind of put a shop, you know, because it has to be flat, it got to be leveled, it got to be a wide open space. So he chose to put it on the Sandy Shores airfield. So I know it's going to be a little bit unrealistic putting it on an airfield, but just bear with me, guys. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it looks good. Trust me, it looks good. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But basically... Just don't mind us being on the airport. Let's just act like we're not at the airport. We're just in like an empty lot, basically. So um, you guys will understand once I get there. But I know in the last video when I showed you guys a sneak piece peek of it, some of you guys were like, why is it at the airport? So just trying to explain it from now before we get there. All right, guys. So we actually made good time. Um... We're here in Sandy Shores, less than... Oh my god, we can't make this right turn, guys. There is no way we're making this right turn. I just remembered. I remember last time we tried to make that right turn, we were just doing a semi-truck. There's no way I could cut that turn. I'm not even going to try it. All right, so that just added a whole mile and some change to our um, area. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive all the way up here, turn left, and come in this way. I can make those turns, but... I cannot make that turn up there. That is way too tight. So, sorry guys, you're gonna have to bear with me for a little bit longer. Wait a minute, we lost one of our trucks. What the heck? Okay, we're, we're gonna have to respawn. We lost one somehow. I wonder when did it fall off? I think it despawned, honestly, because I had it attached, so it was, there's no way it could technically fall off. But it is what it is. Once I slow down, maybe I'll try to add it back. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna make this left turn. This turn shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna be a little bit crazy with traffic, but it should be okay. Uh-oh. Okay, he stopped for us. Thank you. This is freaking crazy. Oh, the drift. Oh, watch out. Sorry. This is crazy, guys. Oh my god, it's still drifting. Okay, we're good. So we just got one more left turn to make, and then the last turn is going to be the right turn to turn into the shop, and we are good. And I'm stuck behind this camper. Oh, did you guys like the Jeep camper video that we did yesterday? If you didn't check that out, make sure you guys go check that one out as well. That was a lot of fun. Man, that took forever, guys. This, this thing is driving so slow in front of us. I wanted to pass him, but... I figured we'll crash. Oh, this is gonna be crazy here because we have the train tracks. Hopefully none of the trucks get caught on the train tracks. Shouldn't those be down? That's weird, the railroad crossing didn't even go down. Wait, what? I went, now it's going down? My game is bugging out right now. Okay, anyway, guys, we are here. Somehow, some way, we made it. Should I just pull them all in or should I park outside? Let's see. I think I'm going to bring them in one by one because there's not much space in there. Yeah, this is so crazy. Okay, so this is going to be our new garage. This is so freaking crazy. I still can't believe we made it. Alright, so let's just park up right here and then let's get out and check it out. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start detaching everything. So I'm going to drop this first one. And right, let's head inside the shop. Okay, so the cool thing about this area, we have automatic gates. Nice, nice. Now we have a couple different parking areas. So we have this main lot here where we could park uh, store uh, cars. Over there is going to be the mechanic shop. So we have, I think, eight different uh, lifts in there and about 10 different bays where we could work on cars. Okay. So here are the different bays we have for all of the tow trucks. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put each one yet. Um, should I put the big ones in the front? I guess we could put them up here. Alright, so we'll put this right here. I'm gonna have to bring the uh, arm back up. There we go. And we will place this right here. Turn those lights off. I like to freeze the vehicles just so that they don't like fall under the map just in case. Um, not that they would fall under, because this is like right on top of the ground. But it may drop down a little bit since like this whole garage is not really in the game. So once we walk away from it, things would like drop down to like the desert floor, which in this case is only a couple inches, so it's not so bad. But like say at my other garage, it would drop all the way down into the water since that one is like in a crazy location. Alright, so let's grab the next one. 
I guess we could just um, bring the Peterbilt in now. Like I said, I don't know why it kept like automatically turning itself back on when we were towing it, so don't mind it being on. This other gate over here is supposed to open, but I gotta mess around with that. Alright. Let's go ahead and cut that off. Now have our first two trucks here. Very nice. This is looking awesome awesome guys let me know how you guys are liking this if you guys are enjoying it so far again please hit that like button go ahead and smash that like button you could tap it softly if you want you don't want to like break anything just lightly hit the like button but no matter what you do guys definitely hit the like button it definitely does help support the channel so please do so if you enjoy the video all right let's uh let's see what should we bring in next i think i may just well we got to bring in these um Let's grab this F-350 at the back since it's... Alright, let's see. Where should we park this? We have three of these. Uh, I'll park this... I don't know. I'm going to park it towards the end. Well, the thing with these, we could fit more than one in a bay. So I see we have one, two, three, four, five bays left. Uh, so in this bay, I think I'm going to put the... Let's have that Kenworth, too. So yeah, I'll probably put the Kenworth here, then we'll... I'll leave this one blank for another flatbed, and we'll put this right here. So right now we have a lot of space, but I'm sure once we get some more trucks, I'm probably going to have to put like two, two trucks in each bay. So for now, they could stay spread out. Let's grab the next one. Alright, to make it easy, I just reposition the semi truck. That way we could just back them all straight in. So let's grab the 2020. Now, another thing I have coming soon, guys, I'm gonna get all of the tow trucks. Um, they're all gonna get the same paint jobs. I know right now all of them are mix matching, but we're gonna get a brand new Ace towing. Uh, livery for all of our tow trucks, so that should be pretty cool. Alright, so I'll park this up right here. Alright, that was a little bit sketchy, but we got it in. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab this one off the top. Get this one unloaded. Alright, got it unloaded. I'll throw this one right over here. So we still have one more bay open. Like I said, once we get some more trucks, we'll probably put like two in each one. 
And we just have one last one to go, and then we are good. We're going to also have to bring up some of our trailers as well and some semi-trucks. So we may do that in another episode, or I may just do it off camera. I don't know. If you guys would like to see us transporting like trailers and stuff here, uh, let me know again in the comments section. Alright, park this up right here. I can't wait till we have all of our vehicles having the same colors and the same logos. Cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. So, we have everything loaded up. We have another rear uh, lot over here. Um, I'm thinking we'll put like repos or something over here. That way they're like tucked away and they're fenced in. Nobody can steal them. Try to take them back, you know. So we have one empty bay, F550 in this one, 2008, got the 2013 in this one, 2020, Kenworth, Peterbilt, Kenworth, man this looks amazing, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but this, this looks like we have extra bays in here, or extra lifts, so we could just use this one just when we're working on a truck. So, I think we are done for today, guys. I'm actually going to bring that semi-truck in here, too. Um, this is going to stay here as well. So, let's try to find a place to put that. But hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next episode. And I'm going to try to see if we can fit this in here. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but let's see what we can do with this. I'm not sure, should we put the repos in the front and the trailers in the back? Or should we put the trailers in the front and the repos in the back? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. The back area looks a little bit tighter, so I think we should put the trailers up here because we have a lot of space to like wiggle around up here with these trailers. So yeah, I think the trailers should go in the front. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's back it up this way, actually. So that's the um, that's the mechanic shop section of our company there. So you guys see we have all of the lifts inside. That way we can work on vehicles. Alright, this is not where I want it, but I'm not, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting too much longer. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. We have new videos coming every single day. Who's excited for summer? I know I am. Also, live streams are coming back as well. You guys have been asking me about that. So, live streams should be coming back tomorrow. I'm going to try to do a lot of live streams again. Um, anything else, if you made it to the end of the video, definitely let me know by leaving a comment um, so I could personally say thank you for watching all the way to the end. It does help the video out. It also let me know that you guys enjoyed it. And that's what I want to do, guys. I want to make videos that you guys enjoy. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.